Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, my name is Aulia Amini I'm the student of English Education Department of YIN Pekalongan Today, I will make some highlights about the comparison of systemic functional linguistic and critical discourse analysis Firstly, we have to know about systemic functional linguistic Systemic functional linguistic or SFL is an approach to language developed and centered around the notion of language function. In SFL, a text is analyzed in four ways. They are as a context, as a semantics, lexical grammar, and phonology. To begin with, the context. Context is classified as one of the central concern because it's integral to overall process of making meaning. In fact, when language occurs in a context, it will relate to a number of contexts. They are the context of culture and the context of situation. The aspect of the context relates intimately to the language used to create a text. In terms of three important strands like tenor, fraud, and mode, fraud is indication is the topic of what is being talked about. Tenor is the indication of who are involved in the communication and the relationship between them and the mode is the indication of what part of language is playing in the interaction of what form it takes it's kind of written or spoken these three register variables are used to explain people intuitive understanding that individually use different resources different kinds and different parts from the system or language Inside of the language itself, the SFL describes a model with three levels as a model of language. The first is discourse semantics, that has three metafunctions, in the personal, ideational, and textual. The second is lexical grammar. It includes both grammar and vocabulary to represent the view of language in both lexis and grammar. Three, phonology, orthography, or graphology. It refers to the sound system, the writing system, and the wording systems. Hence, the SFL model proposed that human language has evolved to make three generalized kind of meanings. They are experiential meanings, interpersonal meanings, and textual meanings. In addition, it provides an innovative value form functionalism and as a useful tool for those who want to analyze text. Now we move to critical discourse analysis. Critical discourse analysis or CDA is an interdisciplinary approach to the study of language as a form of social practices. In CDA, language helps create change behavior. It analyzes how language influence the power relation how language work in social setting, and how language influence someone's ideology and its as a tool power. In critical discourse analysis, should be analyzed by applying systemic functional linguistic through three metafunction in the three level of language in social context. In critical discourse analysis, there are three step analysis. The first is identification, it includes ideas, themes, stereotypes, cultural values, and what the text says about. We can use as a well ideational. What is represented? Interpersonal? How is it evaluated? Interpretation. Situational and intertextual. In situational, we can use the question, who delivered the messages? Who is in active or passive role? In intertextual, we can use the question, what kind of relationship are implied? Content analysis. We can use some questions. What social practices are mediated by the text? How does the text contract a particular reality? Does it reinforce power relations? So as the conclusion, Critical discourse analysis have a perspective on a wider context and implication. It has the power and control. It focuses on media discourse. And it has perspective trends of discourse. 
However, systemic functional linguistics have a perspective on a formal structure of a language, and it has three metafunctions ideational, interpersonal, and textual. Systemic functional linguistics used as a set tool for doing critical discourse analysis. So that's all my summary about the comparison between the systemic functional linguistic and critical discourse analysis. Thank you so much for listening and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.